Hey everyone, so we've got another Lightroom tutorial and we've got an image sent in by Lishan here. So you can go give him a follow down in the description, his links will be down there. So I'm going to show you guys his feed. So really like this, there's not much split turning going on, he's mostly using the natural colours. He's got a really nice creamy look to his images that I really like. So we're going to be working with one of these, this image right here trying to recreate this edit so you guys can also go check out his youtube channel really great content check it out here so as you can see he's got some pretty awesome content over here as well guys just go check him out a lot of epic wide angle shots so coming back to instagram we're going to be trying to recreate an edit like this one so let's get into it Here's our starting point here and obviously the edited final image from his Instagram over here. So he has used 16 millimeters to achieve this really wide dramatic look. It looks great. So when we come into cropping, we've cropped by four by five, looking good. And yeah, let's get straight into editing the exposure. So adding in some contrast, And then fine tuning the contrast. And lift the blacks a little. So is that before and after already? I'm going to really warm it up. As you can see, everything looks quite golden and warm. And coming down, I think there's quite a bit of clarity and you just sort of notice it by uh, how sharp and glassy the image looks. Really helps things pop. Bump up some vibrance. And got to take down saturation. Right. So gonna do tone curve, slightly curve, and slightly fade those highlights and the shadows. Okay, so that's our curves done before and after so far. So we're going to bring back a lot of detail in the sky. So I'm going to do that with a filter. And the main thing that's going to help us out is the dehaze. So quite a bit of dehaze, but that will really darken most of your colors. So you probably want to desaturate most things. And now we want to keep our clouds looking nice and soft. So I'm going to really drop the clarity, keeping that nice hazy look. And I'm going to cool it down. As you can see, there's not many of these warm yellows down here. Just quickly come down 
and desaturate these blues down here. And then we need to change the hue on that later. So we are on to hue now. And as you can see, these grasses down here look really vibrant and deep. So I'm going to slightly shift the oranges more red. The first thing I'm going to do before I do the colors actually is you can see how bright some of these things are. So if I come down to luminance, I want to really brighten up the yellows especially. As you can see what that just did. Gave a real pop to those yellow colors. I'll also do it to the greens. So the greens are mainly affecting the background. But as you can see, he's really trying to make that background pop out. So I'm going to do that with the greens as well. And a few of these colors you can see here, these oranges, they're really deep. So I'm going to deepen these oranges. And coming back up to hues. These yellows could be a bit more orange. Uh, onto the aquas and blues. We're going to just try to match them up. saturated looking all right is that before and after so far uh, saturation for all the other colors I'm going to bring up these oranges. We don't have enough oranges down the grasses there. Take a little bit out of those yellows. There's also not much green in there either, so I'm going to drop the greens. I was going to change the greens to more of a warm color to get rid of them, but then that would affect the background here. We still want them that green, those greens to be still a natural green color. So looking okay. There's just a few things I want to do now. So no split toning. We need to make our subject pop. So get a brush, bracket key. Click the box if you want to see where you're brushing. Add some exposure, click off the box, and clarity often helps. And another thing is we want to make these mountains pop more, they look desaturated and yeah we need to bring them out. So I'm going to get brush. Painting all over it. Might want to turn this on. So to make this background pop a bit more because it was a little soft, I'm going to bring up the clarity I think. Adds a bit of a shine and sharpness.
And we also need to bring some of those greens back. So saturation. Looking pretty good. And one other thing, we've lost quite a bit of color in the ocean here. So we need to get that back. I'm just going to do it with a brush. And I'm just going to pick, you could try to add it in by using the temperature, just adding coolness in there. But I want a bit more of a teal. That looks okay. And possibly the last thing is to add some haze to this area here and take out that little bit of warmth to soften these highlights. Because if you can see those yellows are no longer there over in that one. Make it nice and big so you've got some room to feather it out. It'll look more natural if you feather it. So I'm going to add some haze into this area. And I'm going to cool it down. I want to really feather it out just so it's not so intense. And maybe a bit more warmth. Looking pretty close. And yeah, I think I'll just leave it there, guys. There's probably a few more differences, obviously, but I think we're pretty good. You guys can be more picky if you like. I think the entire image looks a little too bright, so I'm just gonna tweak a few things. I'm gonna bring down the exposure by just a little bit. Uh, darkens it a bit, but that changes up a few of our colors. Now we've lost that brightness, so I'm gonna lift the luminance of the yellows up again to get back some of that brightness. Um, our blues have gotten a bit deeper since we darkened it, make them a bit more teal. And I think we might have overdone 
with the clarity in that background of the hill. Drop that to about 40 instead. And since we darkened everything, the water over here has gone a bit too dark as well. Might just bring up the exposure slightly. And so I need to bring out our subject a little more. thing since we added so much warmth we added in about can't remember maybe 3,000 warmth if some things have gone a little too warm like his shirt so I'm just gonna just gonna paint over his shirt Cool it down. It's a bit too much. See how that looks. And yeah. Looking pretty good, guys. Before and after. I think there's maybe a few slight differences. A bit more saturation in these yellows, maybe. Because we changed our exposure before, our sky is still a bit dark. I'm just going to soften it up by reducing the dehaze a bit. Just a tad. Um, I think back off on that yellow luminance just a tad. And I would like to see some more greens in our hill there. I'm just going to bump up the saturation. And I think I'd just like to see a bit more oranges in the grass here. So these spots, they seem a bit more of a deeper orange. So I'll just shift this. The orange is a bit more to a red. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good, guys. I'm just going to leave it there. We're pretty close. But hopefully that's the main points you guys need to know to create something like this. So yeah, you guys, go give him a follow down in the description because he sent in his photo and that makes, that helps me help you guys. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see, but make sure they don't have too many followers. That way I can reach out to them, they will send in a photo and I can do a tutorial on them. And if you're liking these tutorials, then you'll like my presets and there's going to be more content coming some premiere pro LUTs in the near future so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one